she has performed at it's a great act of singers. More, th more frequently than any other singer. Well, it started when I was very young. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. She, she started uh, singing here uh, was it 14 years ago. Yeah. So, yeah. Was it? Uh, she started singing while I was still in New York. And I was really delighted when I came back to find that she <laughs> was on the program. So here she is. Um, this, this now, we've had two art songs. Now we have an aria from, from a, an opera, obviously. An opera in four acts uh, called La Boheme. Uh, it's very, very often performed rights. According to people keeping score on such things, the third most performed opera anywhere uh, for lots of wonderful reasons. Uh, it was, um, it was the, the original performance was conducted by uh, Arturo Toscanini, who uh, people my age may remember from the NBC Symphony Hour uh, and black and white television. Um, he, uh, he actually recorded it in 1946, um, and it's, it, uh, it's the only Puccini opera that, that is recorded with the original conductor. Um, I was a great fan of Toscanini's as a child and thought, I'd like to do that, uh, but th that didn't happen. Uh, of course, the, the, the story is, uh, is well known, and, uh, and, and the story was, uh, was based on a, uh, on a novel uh, written by uh, Henri Maguire in 1861, and then, of course, he had died by this time, so uh, Puccini's regular librettist who are listening to your program wrote the libretto. Uh, the, the Broadway uh, rock musical Rent is based on the same story. Anyone seen that? Yeah, That's, uh, the story works there too. Um, my, only, my only complaint is it was awfully loud. <laughs> but, uh, but I enjoyed the show. Baz Luhrmann, of course, did a Broadway production of La Boheme, which Deborah and I saw in New York. Uh, and that was fascinating. They, they, because it was because opera singers, you see, Broadway singers, as you probably know, you know, they're used to doing eight shows a week. Um, opera singers don't do eight shows a week, so they had three casts, and they were circulating them around for the for the for Baz Luhrmann's production, which was very beautiful and done in a done in a Broadway house. So, uh, why don't you say something about what you're doing here? I'm singing Si Mi Chiamano Mimi. Yes, yes, they call me Mimi, but my name's Lucia. So, <laughs> 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 uh, in the scene, uh, Mimi uh, has just uh, found a way to meet Rodolfo. Um, her candle went out, and so she's coming in to ask for a light, and a whole bunch of things happen. It goes out again, she loses her key, it's just not going very well, but he finds her very charming. <laughs> and he's trying to get, get her to stay as long as possible. So he, he sings a beautiful aria to her, and then he wants to know about who Mimi is. And she introduces herself. She's a, a Grisetta seamstress. She embroiders roses and lilies, and she also has a soul of the poet and loves poetry. And she tells about her life, that she lives alone. She's happy, but she's still alone. <laughs> 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 and she lives in a little white room that looks over the rooftops. And then the special thing about that room is that when the first thaw comes, you have to remember that this is the eve of Christmas and very, very cold, but she gets to see the first son of April. It's all hers. <laughs>